The soft glow of candlelight flickered across Laura Everett's face as she gazed at her reflection in the vanity mirror. Her fingers trembled slightly as she applied the final touches of makeup, her mind racing with a mix of anticipation and unease. Tonight, she and her husband Charles would be celebrating their 30th wedding anniversary, a milestone that should have been a joyous occasion. Yet the weight of her long-buried secret threatened to overshadow the celebration, leaving her stomach in knots. Laura took a deep breath and tried to push aside the guilt that had been her constant companion for over a decade. She and Charles had built a life together, weathering the ups and downs of three decades of marriage. They had weathered storms, celebrated triumphs, and nurtured a love that had once burned brightly. But now the foundations of their relationship felt shaky, a crack in the foundation that threatened to crumble under the pressure of her betrayal. As Laura applied the last stroke of lipstick, she heard the familiar sound of Charles's footsteps approaching the bedroom. She quickly composed herself, flashing a warm smile as her husband entered the room, impeccably dressed in a tailored suit. You look stunning as always, Charles said, his eyes crinkling at the corners as he gazed at his wife. He crossed the room and placed a soft kiss on her cheek, his hand lingering on her arm. Are you ready, my love? Laura nodded, her heart swelling with a bittersweet mixture of love and trepidation. Yes, I'm ready, she replied, placing her hand in the crook of Charles' elbow as they made their way downstairs to the waiting car. The drive to the elegant restaurant where they were hosting their anniversary celebration was filled with a palpable tension both Laura and Charles acutely aware of the unspoken elephant in the room. They made small talk, discussing the weather and their plans for the evening, but the underlying current of unease was palpable. As they stepped out of the car and approached the restaurant's entrance, Laura felt a sense of deja vu. Thirty years ago, they had stood in this very spot, giddy with excitement and hopeful for the future that lay ahead. Now, the air was tinged with uncertainty, the carefree joy of their youth replaced by the burdens of adulthood and the weight of their shared history. Inside, the restaurant was abuzz with the chatter of their closest friends and family, all gathered to celebrate the Everett's enduring love. Laura scanned the room, her eyes landing on familiar faces, their children, now grown with families of their own, beaming with pride, their dear friends, who had been by their side through thick and thin. As Charles greeted the guests, Laura found herself drawn to a quiet corner needing a moment of respite from the swirl of activity. She closed her eyes, taking a deep, steadying breath, and tried to push away the nagging voice in the back of her mind that urged her to confess her sins. Perhaps if she could just make it through the evening without giving in to her guilt, she could continue to keep her secret hidden, preserving the illusion of their perfect marriage. But as Charles approached, his eyes shining with unbridled joy, Laura knew that the charade could not last. The truth, like a ticking time bomb, was poised to detonate and shatter the very foundation of their life together. Darling, it's time, Charles said, his hand gently guiding her back toward the center of the room. Everyone's waiting to toast to our 30 years. Laura nodded, swallowing the lump in her throat as she followed her husband. This was it, the moment of reckoning. As Charles stood before the gathered guests, raising his glass in a heartfelt tribute to their marriage, Laura felt her composure begin to crumble. To my beautiful wife, Laura, Charles began, his voice thick with emotion. Thirty years of love, laughter, and countless memories. You have been my anchor, my best friend, and the light that has guided me through the ebbs and flows of life. I am the luckiest man alive to have found my soulmate, my partner, my everything. The guests erupted in applause, raising their own glasses in a chorus of congratulations. Laura felt the world around her blur as tears threatened to spill down her cheeks. Charles's words, so full of unwavering devotion, only served to deepen the guilt that had been weighing on her for years. As the applause died down, Charles turned to Laura, his eyes locked with hers. My love, I want you to know that every day I am grateful for the life we've built together. You are the most incredible woman I've ever known, and I am so proud to call you my wife. The weight of his words, the depth of his affection, shattered the fragile control Laura had been clinging to. In that moment, the truth, like a tidal wave came rushing forth, spilling from her lips before she could stop it. Charles, I, I have to tell you something, she whispered, her voice trembling, something I've been keeping from you for a very long time. The guests fell silent, their expressions shifting from celebration to confusion as they sensed the shift in the air. Charles's brow furrowed, his gaze searching Laura's face for any hint of what was to come. What is it, my darling? He asked, his tone laced with concern. 
you can tell me anything. Laura took a deep, shuddering breath, knowing that there was no going back. The moment of reckoning had arrived and the weight of her past betrayal threatened to consume her. Charles, I, I had an affair, she confessed, the words tasting like ashes on her tongue. Several years ago, I, I betrayed you. The words hung in the air, shattering the celebratory atmosphere that had moments ago filled the room. Laura watched as the color drained from Charles's face, his eyes widening in disbelief. The chatter and laughter that had surrounded them moments ago now faded into a deafening silence, as if the very walls of the restaurant had conspired to amplify the weight of her confession. Charles stared at his wife, his expression shifting from shock to a mixture of pain and betrayal. Laura could see the wheels turning in his mind. As he grappled with the implications of her revelation, the firm foundation of their marriage suddenly crumbling beneath their feet. An affair, Charles whispered, his voice barely audible. How long, how long has this been going on? Laura felt her heart racing. The guilt and shame she had carried for so long now laid bare for all to see. She swallowed hard, her gaze dropping to the floor as she mustered the courage to continue. It was, it was several years ago, she began, her words halting and heavy with remorse. It only lasted a few months, but the guilt has been eating away at me ever since. Charles recoiled, as if her words had physically struck him. His expression hardened, the warmth and affection that had filled his eyes moments ago now extinguished, replaced by a mixture of betrayal and disbelief. Several years, he echoed, his voice rising in a rare display of emotion. My God, Laura, how could you, how could you do this to me, to us? The guests, once gathered to celebrate the Everett's enduring love, now shifted uncomfortably, their own discomfort palpable in the charged atmosphere. Laura could feel their eyes upon her, the silent judgment almost too much to bear. Charles, I... I'm so sorry, Laura stammered, her own tears now spilling down her cheeks. I never meant to hurt you. It was a moment of weakness, a terrible mistake that I've regretted every single day since. Charles shook his head. His jaw clenched tightly as he struggled to process the revelations. The man who had moments ago raised a glass to his beloved wife now stood before her. His trust shattered, his heart in pieces. A moment of weakness, he scoffed, the bitterness in his tone cutting like a knife. Laura, you had an affair for months and kept it from me all this time. How can I ever trust you again? The guests shifted uncomfortably, some casting their eyes downward, unable to bear witness to the couple's private anguish. Laura's dear friend Emily stepped forward, her expression one of concern and empathy. Charles, perhaps we should take this conversation somewhere more private, she suggested, her voice gentle but firm. This is a lot to take in, for all of us. Charles glanced around the room, his gaze sweeping over the faces of their friends and family, each one reflecting a mix of shock and discomfort. He nodded stiffly, his hand tightening around Laura's arm as he guided her toward the exit. Yes. I think that's best, he said, his tone clipped and devoid of the warmth it had held mere moments ago. As they made their way out of the restaurant, Laura could feel the weight of the guests' eyes upon her, their silent judgment a palpable presence in the air. She knew that the revelation of her affair would have far-reaching consequences, not just for her and Charles, but for their entire social circle. The cracks in their seemingly perfect union had been exposed, and there was no going back. The drive home was tense and filled with a suffocating silence. Laura, her hands trembling, kept her gaze fixed on the passing scenery, unwilling to meet Charles's eyes. She could feel the anger and hurt radiating from him, the air between them thick with unspoken emotions. When they finally arrived at their house, Charles ushered Laura inside, his movements efficient and devoid of the gentle care he had always shown her. As the door closed behind them, the weight of their situation seemed to press in the quiet of their home almost deafening. Charles turned to face Laura, his eyes blazing with a mixture of hurt and betrayal. How could you do this to me, Laura? He demanded, his voice laced with anguish. After all these years, after everything we've built together, how could you betray me like this? Laura felt her heart sink, the guilt and shame she had carried for so long now threatening to consume her. She opened her mouth to speak, to try and explain, but the words caught in her throat leaving her helpless in the face of her husband's pain. I trusted you, Laura, Charles continued, his voice quaking. I loved you with everything I had, and you, you lied to me. You betrayed that trust, our love, our marriage. How am I supposed to forgive you for this? 
Laura felt the tears streaming down her face, her own heart breaking as she watched the man she loved grapple with the weight of her betrayal. Charles, I, I'm so sorry, she whispered, her voice barely audible. I never meant to hurt you. It was a moment of weakness, a terrible mistake that I have regretted every single day since. Charles shook his head, his expression hardening. A mistake? He scoffed, the bitterness in his tone cutting like a knife. Laura, you had an affair for months and you kept it from me all this time. That's not a mistake. That's a conscious choice to betray our marriage, our family. Laura felt her heart constrict, the weight of her guilt and the uncertainty of their future threatening to overwhelm her. She reached out, her hand trembling, and placed it on Charles's arm, her eyes pleading for understanding. Please, Charles, I, I know I don't deserve it, but please, can we talk about this? She begged, her voice thick with emotion. I want to make things right, to find a way to rebuild the trust I've broken. Charles hesitated, his gaze shifting between Laura's tear-stained face and her outstretched hand. For a moment, there was a glimmer of uncertainty in his eyes, a hint that he might be willing to listen, to try and understand. But then, the mask of hurt and betrayal slipped back into place, and Charles pulled away, the warmth and affection that had once filled his eyes now extinguished. I... I need time, Laura, he said, his voice barely above a whisper. I can't even look at you right now, let alone talk about this. I need to be alone. With that, Charles turned and retreated to their bedroom, the door closing with a resounding finality that echoed through the quiet house. Laura stood alone in the entryway, her heart shattering as the weight of her actions finally caught up to her. The future, once so bright with the promise of their shared lives, now seemed shrouded in uncertainty, their 30-year love story teetering on the edge of an uncertain abyss. The drive home from the restaurant had been a silent, suffocating affair. Laura sat in the passenger seat, her gaze fixed on the passing streetlights, the weight of her confession hanging heavy in the air between her and Charles. She could feel the tension radiating from him, his knuckles white as he gripped the steering wheel, his expression unreadable. When they finally pulled into the driveway, Charles wordlessly ushered Laura through the front door, his movements stiff and devoid of the gentle care he had always shown her. As the door closed behind them, the silence of their home seemed to press in, amplifying the anguish that had shattered the celebratory atmosphere of the anniversary party. Charles turned to face Laura, his eyes blazing with a mixture of hurt and betrayal. How could you do this to me, Laura? He demanded, his voice thick with emotion. After all these years, after everything we've built together, how could you betray me like this? Laura felt her heart constrict, the guilt and shame she had carried for so long now threatening to consume her. She opened her mouth, desperate to find the right words, but the lump in her throat made it impossible to speak. I trusted you, Laura, Charles continued, his voice quaking. I loved you with everything I had, and you... You lied to me. You betrayed that trust, our love, our marriage. How am I supposed to forgive you for this? Laura felt the tears streaming down her face, her own heart breaking as she watched the man she loved grapple with the weight of her betrayal. Charles, I... I'm so sorry, she whispered, her voice barely audible. I never meant to hurt you. It was a moment of weakness, a terrible mistake that I've regretted every single day since. Charles shook his head, his expression hardening. A mistake? He scoffed the bitterness in his tone cutting like a knife. Laura, you had an affair for months, and you kept it from me all this time. That's not a mistake. That's a conscious choice to betray our marriage, our family. Laura reached out, her hand trembling, and placed it on Charles's arm, her eyes pleading for understanding. Please, Charles, I... I know I don't deserve it, but please, can we talk about this? She begged, her voice thick with emotion. I want to make things right, to find a way to rebuild the trust I've broken. Charles hesitated, his gaze shifting between Laura's tear-stained face and her outstretched hand. For a moment, there was a glimmer of uncertainty in his eyes, a hint that he might be willing to listen, to try and understand. But then, the mask of hurt and betrayal slipped back into place, and Charles pulled away, the warmth and affection that had once filled his eyes now extinguished. I... I need time, Laura, he said, his voice barely above a whisper. I can't even look at you right now, let alone talk about this. I need to be alone. With that, Charles turned and retreated to their bedroom, the door closing with a resounding finality that echoed through the quiet house. Laura stood alone in the entryway, her heart shattering as the weight of her actions finally caught up to her. The future, once so bright with the promise of their shared lives, now seemed shrouded in uncertainty. 
their 30-year love story teetering on the edge of an uncertain abyss. Slowly, Laura made her way to the living room, collapsing onto the sofa as the reality of the situation sank in. She had betrayed the man she loved, the man who had been her rock, her soulmate, for over three decades. And now, she faced the terrifying prospect of losing him forever. Laura buried her face in her hands, her body racked with sobs as the gravity of her mistake overwhelmed her. How could she have been so selfish, so thoughtless? She had sacrificed the very foundation of their marriage, the trust and devotion that had sustained them through the ups and downs of life. And for what? A fleeting moment of weakness, a mistake that had cost her everything. As the minutes ticked by, Laura's tears slowly subsided, replaced by a burning determination to make things right. She couldn't, she wouldn't lose Charles, not without a fight. Wiping her eyes, she rose from the couch and made her way to the bedroom door, her heart pounding with a mixture of fear and resolve. Tentatively, she knocked, her voice trembling as she spoke. Charles, please, can we talk? I, I need you to understand. There was a long pause, and for a moment, Laura feared that he would refuse. But then, the door cracked open, and Charles's face appeared, his eyes red-rimmed and weary. Talk, he said, his tone guarded and distant. Laura took a deep breath, steeling herself for the difficult conversation that lay ahead. Charles, I know that what I've done is unforgivable, she began, her words measured and sincere. I betrayed your trust, our marriage, and I can't begin to express how deeply sorry I am for that. But please let me explain. Let me try to make you understand. Charles hesitated, his gaze searching Laura's face for any hint of deception. After a moment, he stepped aside, silently inviting her into the bedroom. Laura felt a glimmer of hope as she crossed the threshold, her heart racing with a mix of trepidation and determination. Once inside, Charles closed the door behind them, the sound of the latch clicking seeming to echo in the tense silence. He moved to the edge of the bed, sinking down onto the mattress, his eyes fixed on the floor. All right, then, he said, his voice barely above a whisper. Explain. Laura took a seat beside him, her hand reaching out to touch his arm, only to have him flinch at her touch. Undeterred, she pressed on, her words spilling out in a desperate torrent. It happened about five years into our marriage, she began, her voice trembling. I was feeling lost, uncertain about the direction our lives were taking. We were both working long hours, and the demands of building a life together were starting to take a toll. And then... Then he came into my life. Charles' head snapped up, his eyes narrowing as he processed her words. He, he echoed, the single syllable laced with a bitter edge. Laura nodded, her gaze downcast as she continued. His name was Mark. We worked together and, and I don't know, it just happened. One day we were talking and the next thing I knew I was... She paused, her voice breaking as the weight of her confession threatened to overwhelm her. You were what, Laura? Charles pressed his tone hard and unforgiving. You were what? I was kissing him, she whispered, the words barely audible. It started with that and then, and then it escalated. I was with him for months, betraying you, betraying everything we had built together. Charles shook his head, the pain and betrayal etched onto his features. My God, Laura, he breathed, his voice tinged with a mixture of disbelief and anguish. How could you do this to me, to us? Laura reached out again, her hand trembling as she sought to bridge the ever-widening chasm between them. Charles, please, you have to believe me when I say that I regretted it from the moment it started. I was lost, confused, and I made the biggest mistake of my life. But I never, never stopped loving you. You're the only man I've ever truly loved, and the thought of losing you is tearing me apart. Charles turned to her then, his eyes brimming with tears. Losing me, he echoed, his voice thick with emotion. Laura, you've already lost me. You betrayed my trust, our marriage, everything we've built together. I don't know if I can ever forgive you for this. Laura felt the weight of his words like a physical blow, the air leaving her lungs in a rush. Charles, please, she begged, her hand reaching for his. I know I don't deserve it, but please, give me a chance to make this right. I'll do anything, anything to earn back your trust, to save our marriage. Charles stared at her for a long moment, his expression unreadable. Then slowly, he reached out and took her hand, his grip tightening as he spoke. I want to, Laura, he said, his voice barely above a whisper. But I, I don't know if I can. The pain, the betrayal, it's too much. I need time, time to process all of this, to figure out if we can ever find our way back to each other. Laura nodded, 
her heart sinking as she realized the gravity of the situation. I understand, she said, her voice barely audible. Take all the time you need, Charles. I'll be here waiting, hoping that you'll find it in your heart to forgive me. With that, the two fell into a heavy silence, the weight of their unspoken emotions hanging thick in the air. As the night wore on, Laura and Charles sat together, neither one willing to relinquish the fragile connection that still bound them, even as the future of their marriage remained shrouded in uncertainty.